ऑडियो बुक साइंस क्लास एट पेज थर्टी टू चैप्टर थ्री सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स द क्लोथ्स विच वी वेयर आर मेड ऑफ फैब्रिक्स फैब्रिक्स आर मेड फ्रॉम फाइबर्स ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम नेचुरल और आर्टिफिशियल सोर्सेस कैन यू नेम सम नेचुरल फाइबर्स Fibers are also used for making a large variety of household articles. Make a list of some common articles made from fibers. Try to separate them into those made from natural fibers and those made from artificial fibers. Make entries in table 3.1. Table 3.1 Natural and artificial fibers. The first column is serial number second column name of article third column type of fiber natural or artificial why did you label some fibers as artificial you have read in your previous classes that natural fibers like cotton wool silk etc are obtained from plants or animals The synthetic fibers on the other hand are made by human beings that is why these are called synthetic or man made fibers 3.1 what are synthetic fibers try to recall the uniform pattern found in a necklace of beads joined with the help of a thread as shown in figure 3.1a or try to join a number of paper clips together to make a long chain as in figure 3.1b is there any similarity between the two in figure 3.1 you can see two images image a is of beads and image b is of paper clips joined to form long chains a synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together each small unit is actually a chemical substance many such small units combine to form a large single unit called a polymer the word polymer comes from two greek words poly meaning many and mer meaning part or unit so A polymer is made of many repeating units. Page thirty-three. Polymers occur in nature also. Cotton, for example, is a polymer called cellulose. Cellulose is made up of a large number of glucose units. Three point two. Types of synthetic fibers. Rayon. You have read in class 7th that silk fiber obtained from silkworm was discovered in China and was kept as a closely guarded secret for a long time. Fabric obtained from silk fiber was very costly, but its beautiful texture fascinated everybody. Attempts were made to make silk artificially. Towards the end of the 19th century, scientists were successful in obtaining a fiber having properties similar to that of silk such a fiber was obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp this fiber was called rayon or artificial silk although rayon is obtained from a natural source wood pulp yet it is a man made fiber it is cheaper than silk and can be woven like silk fibers it can also be dyed in a wide variety of colors Rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets or mixed with wool to make carpets as shown in figure 3.2 In figure 3.2 you can see articles made of rayon Nylon Nylon is another man-made fiber In 1931 it was made without using any natural raw material from plant or animal It was prepared from coal water and air it was the first fully synthetic fiber nylon fiber was strong elastic and light it was lustrous and easy to wash so it became very popular for making clothes we use many articles made from nylon 
such as socks, ropes, tents, toothbrushes, car seat belts, sleeping bags, curtains, etc. as shown in figure 3.3. Figure 3.3 depicts various articles made from nylon. Now, Bujo has a question. Is nylon fiber really so strong that we can make nylon parachutes and ropes for rock climbing? Page 34 Nylon is also used for making parachutes and ropes for rock climbing, as shown in figure 3.4. A nylon thread is actually stronger than a steel wire. Let us find out. Figure 3.4 Use of Nylon Fibers Activity 3.1 Take an iron stand with a clamp. Take a cotton thread of about 60 cm length. Tie it to the clamp so that it hangs freely from it as shown in figure 3.5. At the free end, suspend a pan so that weight can be placed in it. Add weight one by one till the thread breaks. Note down the total weight required to break the thread. This weight indicates the strength of the fibre. Repeat the same activity with threads of wool, polyester, silk and nylon. Tabulate the data as shown in Table 3.2. Arrange the threads in order of their increasing strength. Figure 3.5 depicts an iron stand with the thread hanging from the clamp. Observation Table 3.2 First column, serial number. Second column, type of thread or fibre. Third column, total weight required to break the thread. Now complete the table in your notebook. For your convenience, first two rows have been done for you. The first type of thread or fibre is cotton, then wool, after that silk and finally nylon. Now you have to find out the total weight required to break each of these thread or fibre. You may use a hook or a nail on the wall for hanging the fibres and a polythene bag at the other end. In place of weights, you may use marbles or pebbles of similar size. Precaution! Note that all threads should be of the same length and almost of the same thickness. Polyester and Acrylic Polyester is another synthetic fibre Fabric made from this fibre does not get wrinkled easily. It remains crisp and is easy to wash. So, it is quite suitable for making dress material. You must have seen people wearing polyester shirts and other dresses. Terulene is a popular polyester. It can be drawn into very fine fibres that can be woven like any other yarn. Page 35 Now, Paheli is thinking. My mother always buys pet bottles and pet jars for storing rice and sugar. I wonder what pet is. Pet. Polyethylene terephthalate is a very familiar form of polyester. It is used for making bottles, utensils, films, wires and many other useful products. Look around and make a list of things made of polyester. Polyester Poly plus ester is actually made up of the repeating units of a chemical called an ester. Esters are the chemicals which give fruits their smell. Fabrics are sold by names like polycot, polywool, terricot, etc. As the name suggests, these are made by mixing two types of fibres. Polycot is a mixture of polyester and cotton. Polywool is a mixture of polyester and wool. We wear sweaters and use shawls or blankets in the winter. Many of these are actually not made from natural wool, though they appear to resemble wool. These are prepared from another type of synthetic fibre called acrylic. The wool obtained from natural sources is quite expensive, whereas clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheap. They are available in a variety of colours. 
Synthetic fibers are more durable and affordable, which makes them more popular than natural fibers. You have already performed an activity of burning natural and synthetic fibers. Activity 3.6 of Class 7 What did you observe? When you burn synthetic fibers, you find that their behavior is different from that of the natural fibers. You must have noticed that synthetic fibers melt on heating. This is actually a disadvantage of synthetic fibers. If the clothes catch fire, it can be disastrous. The fabric melts and sticks to the body of the person wearing it. We should, therefore, not wear synthetic clothes while working in the kitchen or in a laboratory. Paheli said, Oh, now I understand why my mother never wears polyester clothes while working in the kitchen. All the synthetic fibers are prepared by a number of processes using raw materials of petroleum origin called petrochemicals. 3.3 Characteristics of Synthetic Fibers Imagine that it is a rainy day. What kind of umbrella would you use and why? Synthetic fibers possess unique characteristics which make them popular dress materials. They dry up quickly, are durable, less expensive, readily available and easy to maintain. Perform the following activity and learn for yourself. Page 36 Activity 3.2 Take two cloth pieces of the same size, roughly half a meter square each. One of these should be from natural fiber, the other could be a synthetic fiber. You can take help of your parents in selecting these pieces. Soak the pieces in different mugs, each containing the same amount of water. Take the pieces out of the containers after five minutes and spread them in the sun for a few minutes. Compare the volume of the water remaining in each container. Do synthetic fabrics soak less or more water than the natural fabrics? Do they take less or more time to dry? What does this activity tell you about the characteristics of the synthetic fabrics? Find out from your parents about the durability, cost and maintenance of these fabrics compared to the natural fabrics. 3.4. Plastics You must be familiar with many plastic articles used every day. Make a list of such items and their uses. Figure 3.6. Type of arrangement of units. A. Is linear. B. Is cross-linked. Plastic is also a polymer like the synthetic fiber. All plastics do not have the same type of arrangement of units. In some it is linear, whereas in others it is cross-linked, as shown in figure 3.6. Plastic articles are available in all possible shapes and sizes, as you can see in figure 3.7. Have you ever wondered how this is possible? The fact is that plastic is easily moldable, that is, can be shaped in any form. Plastic can be recycled, reused, Colored, melted, rolled into sheets or made into wires. That is why it finds such a variety of uses. Figure 3.7 Various articles made of plastics Polythene Poly plus ethene is an example of a plastic. It is used for making commonly used polythene bags. Now, try to bend a piece of plastic yourself. Can all the plastic articles be bent easily? You will observe that some plastic articles can bend easily, while some break when forced to bend. Page 37 When we add hot water to a plastic bottle, it gets deformed. Such plastic which gets deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastics. Polythene and PVC are some of the examples of thermoplastics. These are used for manufacturing toys, combs and various types of containers. On the other hand, there are some plastics which when molded once cannot be softened by heating. These are called thermosetting plastics. Two examples are 
Bakelite and Melamine Bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. It is used for making electrical switches, handles of various utensils, etc. Melamine is a versatile material. It resists fire and can tolerate heat better than other plastics. It is used for making floor tiles, kitchenware and fabrics which resist fire. Figure 3.8 shows the various uses of thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Figure 3.8 Some articles made of plastic The first image shows articles made of thermosetting plastics while the second image shows articles made of thermoplastics. 3.5 Plastics as materials of choice Today if we think of storing a food item, water, milk, pickles, dry food, etc., plastic containers seem most convenient. This is because of their lightweight, lower price, good strength and easy handling. Being lighter as compared to metals, plastics are used in cars, aircrafts and spacecrafts too. The list is endless if we start counting articles like slippers, furniture, decoration pieces, etc. Plastic is non-reactive. You know that metals like iron get rusted when left exposed to moisture and air. But plastics do not react with water and air. They are not corroded easily. That is why they are used to store various kinds of material including many chemicals. Plastic is light, strong and durable. Talk to your parents or grandparents about the types of buckets that were used in the past. What is the material of the buckets or mugs you are using today? What are the advantages of using a plastic container? Since plastic is very light, strong, durable and can be molded into different shapes and sizes, it is used for various purposes. Plastics are generally cheaper than metals. They are widely used in industry and for household articles. Make a list of different kinds of plastic containers that you use in daily life. Page 38 Plastics are poor conductors. You have learnt above that plastics are poor conductors of heat and electricity. That is why electrical wires have plastic covering and handles of screwdrivers are made of plastic. As mentioned above, Handles of frying pans are also made of plastic. Did you know? Plastics find extensive use in the healthcare industry. Some examples of their use are the packaging of tablets, threads used for stitching wounds, syringes, doctor's gloves and a number of medical instruments. Special plastic cookware is used in microwave ovens for cooking food. In microwave ovens, the heat cooks the food but does not affect the plastic vessel. Teflon is a special plastic on which oil and water do not stick. It is used for non-stick coating on cookwares. Fireproof Plastics Although synthetic fiber catches fire easily, it is interesting to know that the uniforms of firemen have coating of melamine plastic to make them flame resistant. 3.6. Plastics and the Environment When we go to the market, we usually get things wrapped in plastic or packed in polythene bags. That is one reason why plastic waste keeps getting accumulated in our homes. Ultimately, plastic finds its way to the garbage. Disposal of plastic is a major problem. Why? A material which gets decomposed through natural processes such as action by bacteria is called biodegradable. A material which is not easily decomposed by natural processes is termed non-biodegradable. Table 3.3 It has three columns. First, type of waste. Second, approximate time taken to degenerate. Third, Nature of material. Now, the type of waste, peels of vegetable and fruits, leftover food stuff, etc. Approximate time taken to degenerate, one to two weeks. 
nature of material biodegradable now paper 10 to 30 days biodegradable cotton cloth 2 to 5 months biodegradable wood 10 to 15 years biodegradable woolen clothes about a year biodegradable tin aluminium and other metal cans 100 to 500 years non biodegradable plastic bags several years non biodegradable page 39 since plastic takes several years to decompose it is not environment friendly it causes environmental pollution besides the burning process in the synthetic material is quite slow and it does not get completely burnt easily in the process it releases lots of poisonous fumes in the atmosphere causing air pollution how can this problem be solved have you ever seen a garbage dump where animals are eating garbage in the process of eating the food waste they swallow materials like polythene bags and wrappers of food can you imagine the consequences the plastic material chokes the respiratory system of these animals or forms a lining in their stomachs and can be the cause of their death the poly bags carelessly thrown here and there are responsible for clogging the drains too sometimes we are very careless and throw the wrappers of chips biscuits and other eatables on the road or in parks or picnic places should we not think twice before doing so as a responsible citizen what measures do you suggest to keep public places clean and free of plastic avoid the use of plastics as far as possible make use of bags made of cotton or jute when you go for shopping the biodegradable and non biodegradable wastes should be collected separately and disposed of separately practice this in your homes can you suggest some other ways in which you can contribute towards reducing the use of plastic materials it is better to recycle plastic waste most of the thermoplastics can be recycled make a list of items that can be recycled however during recycling certain coloring agents are added this limits its usage especially for storage of food as a responsible citizen remember the 5r principle reduce reuse recycle recover and refuse develop habits which are environment friendly fiber wise do not throw plastic bags in the water bodies or on the road take a cotton carry bag or a jute bag while going for shopping try to minimize the use of plastic materials example use a steel lunch box instead of a plastic one page 40 keywords acrylic artificial silk nylon plastic polyester polymer polythene rayon synthetic fibers terylene thermoplastics thermosetting plastics what you have learnt synthetic fibers and plastics like natural fibers are made of very large units called polymers polymers are made up of many smaller units while natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals synthetic fibers are obtained by chemical processing of petrochemicals like natural fibers these fibers can also be woven into fabrics Synthetic fibers find uses ranging from many household articles like ropes, buckets, furniture, containers, etc., to highly specialized uses in aircrafts, ships, spacecrafts, healthcare, etc. Depending upon the types of chemicals used for manufacturing synthetic fibers, they are called rayon, nylon, polyester, and acrylic. The different types of fibers differ from one another in their strength, water absorbing capacity, nature of burning, cost, durability, etc. Today, life without plastics cannot be imagined. 
be it home or outside, plastic is everywhere. The waste created by plastics is not environment friendly. On burning, plastics release poisonous gases. On dumping in the ground, they may take years to degenerate. This is because of their non-biodegradable nature. We need to use synthetic fibers and plastics in such a manner that we can enjoy their good qualities and at the same time minimize the environmental hazards for the living communities. Page 41 Exercises 1. Explain why some fibers are called synthetic. 2. Mark the correct answer. Rayon is different from synthetic fibers because a. It has a silk-like appearance. b. It is obtained from wood pulp. c. Its fibers can also be woven like those of natural fibers. 3. Fill in the blanks with appropriate words. a. Synthetic fibers are also called blank or blank fibers. b. Synthetic fibers are synthesized from raw material called blank. C. Like synthetic fibers, plastic is also a blank. 4. Give examples which indicate that nylon fibers are very strong. 5. Explain why plastic containers are favored for storing food. 6. Explain the difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic. 7. Explain why the following are made of thermosetting plastics. A. Saucepan handles. B. Electric plugs, switches, plug boards. 8. Categorize the materials of the following products into can be recycled and cannot be recycled. Telephone instruments. Plastic toys, cooker handles, carry bags, ballpoint pens, plastic bowls, plastic covering on electrical wires, plastic chairs, electrical switches. 9. Rana wants to buy shirts for summer. Should he buy cotton shirts or shirts made from synthetic material? Advise Rana giving your reason. 10. Give examples to show that plastics are non-corrosive in nature. 11. Should the handle and bristles of a toothbrush be made of the same material? Explain your answer. 12. Avoid plastics as far as possible. Comment on this advice. Page 42. 13. Match the terms of column A correctly with the phrases given in column B. Column A. Number 1. Polyester Number 2. Teflon Number 3. Rayon Number 4. Nylon Column B A. Prepared by using wood pulp B. Used for making parachutes and stockings C. Used to make non-stick cookwares D. Fabrics do not wrinkle easily 14. Manufacturing synthetic fibers is actually helping conservation of forests. Comment 15. Describe any activity to show that thermoplastic is a poor conductor of electricity. Extended Learning Activities and Projects 1. Have you heard of the campaign, Say No to Plastics? Coin a few more slogans of this kind. There are certain governmental and non-governmental organizations who educate the general public on how to make wise use of plastics and develop environment-friendly habits. Find out organizations in your area which are carrying out awareness programs. If there is none, form one. 2. Organize a debate in the school. Children may be given an option to role-play as manufacturers of synthetic fabrics or those of fabrics from natural sources. They can then debate on the topic, My fabric is superior. 3. Visit five families in your neighborhood 
and inquire about the kind of clothes they use, the reason for their choice and advantages of using them in terms of cost, durability and maintenance. Make a short report and submit it to your teacher. 4. Devise an activity to show that organic waste is biodegradable while plastic is not. Page 43. Did you know? Nylon appears like silk. It is strong and flexible. These endearing qualities of nylon created a public sensation or nylon mania when it was introduced in 1939. Women's stockings made from this new fibre were in great demand. But unfortunately, most of the nylon production had to be diverted to making parachutes during the Second World War, 1939-1945. to After the war, when production of stockings resumed, supply did not match the demand. There was a huge black market for this product. Women had to wait for hours in queues to get a pair. Often, there were nylon riots. Chapter 3 ends here. Narrator, Neeraj Yadav You were just listening to this audio book. Technical Control, Bati Langlingdo. Technical Assistance, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in Production, Jagbandhu Jana. Direction and Production, Vandana Arimardan. This audio book is brought to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.